This isn't a movie. This is real life. It's what happened when Arkansas State Police, hot on the trail of a suspect, pulled what is called a pit maneuver, precision and mobilization technique, also known as a TVI, tactical vehicle intervention. A linear movement that, is, uh, that causes the suspect vehicle to rotate and come to a stop. Colonel Mike Hager is the head of Arkansas State Police. What is the danger of something like this? It's extreme. The danger to the suspect is extreme. The danger to the trooper is extreme. Plenty of people are now getting a close-up look at how these pursuits play out. YouTube is home to more and more videos showing the action and the ultimate consequences. James Bozeman's YouTube channel is called Natural State Transparency. If you have a video that shows the consequences for running from the police, um, I feel as though that may be a deterrent. He says the videos from state trooper car cameras and obtained through freedom of information requests show what happens in real time and also what sometimes goes wrong. They have made it clear that if you flee officers or a trooper in Arkansas and the Arkansas State Police gets involved, it will result in you potentially being pitted or TBI'd out at, you know, excessive speeds and, you know, there will be consequences for that. You may lose your vehicle, you may lose your, uh, your health or your life. Like this time in West Memphis last December, the driver died after his car careened over an embankment off I-40. State police say he was driving 140 miles per hour as the trooper was preparing to perform a TVI when the driver suddenly applied brakes, causing a collision. In another case, troopers say Demarcus Clark was fleeing from a traffic stop on Interstate 40 last July. The trooper used a TVI. Clark's vehicle collided with the troopers, injuring the officer and killing Clark. One chase in Forest City ended with an Arkansas State Trooper performing a pit maneuver on the wrong car. That trooper ended up retiring. There are examples out there where, unfortunately, troopers rushed to do a TBI only to find out that was the wrong vehicle. When our guys make mistakes, we're going to learn from it. We're going to hold them accountable. He says they also go back to training and retraining. Lieutenant Colonel Mike Kennedy is in charge of training for Arkansas State Police. He says all troopers get 84 hours of training on vehicle operations and pursuit driving. It's absolutely not safe for our troopers to perform these techniques, but they've sworn oath to protect the public, so they put themselves between the public and the fleeing suspect. Yes, you attempt to make it spin out, yes. And most of the time during the spin, the suspect vehicle will stall out. But a pregnant woman whose car was rolled by an Arkansas trooper is now suing for negligence and excessive force. Nicole Harper says she put on her flashers and was looking for a safe place to pull over. The officer says she was fleeing. Oh, we don't anticipate vehicles rolling over, or do we want that to happen? All you had to do was slow down. There was a less dangerous and more safe avenue that could have been taken before flipping her vehicle and make it bounce off a concrete barrier going 60 miles an hour. Is there any point where the officers are told or asked to back off? Because a lot of those that we do see, it's in traffic and other cars are around right. and anything can happen. There's a lot that's uh, talked about in our training about site selection. There's other factors that um, the troopers will consider to uh, terminate, self-terminated pursuit. Including not pursuing into oncoming traffic if they can't keep up with the vehicle and if the driver is driving recklessly and innocent bystanders are put in danger. But take a look at the numbers. In 2016, there were 32 pit maneuvers performed by Arkansas State Police. In 2023, 251. But Arkansas State Police say their troopers have also self-terminated pursuits or pulled off 654 times since 2016. The idea that, you know, we're just being cowboys and we're going to chase them until, 
you know, this thing concludes that's not true. He says in more than 3,800 pursuits in eight years, no innocent civilian has died or was seriously hurt, crediting training and officers pulling off of pursuits. But a message is being sent. You play that over in Tennessee, but you're not playing it here. We ask for TVI numbers from Mississippi and Tennessee, and we're still waiting on those. But in Tennessee, we're told TVIs are really not that common and are typically used only in deadly force cases. It is widely known in many circles that if somebody can flee Arkansas law enforcement and get across the 40 or 55 bridge into Memphis, if they make it to Shelby County, they're good. That happens. Yeah, I have examples of it. I think that's kind of a, uh, a almost folklore that is out there. If that suspect crosses the river bridge and they go into Tennessee, we are absolutely within our right to continue that pursuit and engage in that pursuit, and we do. We are constantly on the lookout for new technology. We're constantly on the lookout for ways to uh, make these uh, situations safer. But at the end of the day, the way to make it safer is stop running. You know, and that's our message to the public is just stop running. It's absolutely not worth it. April Thompson, WREG Investigators.